What's up everybody? After the eye-opening experience that was my look through this sticker book from the Lego Ninjago movie provided to me by Warner Brothers, I decided it was time for me to check out more of these DK Books Ultimate Sticker Collection uh, offerings. So I went over to Amazon and bought up these. They averaged about nine dollars a piece and I'm gonna take a look through them and see if there's anything interesting inside. Figured I would share the look with all of you at the same time. Uh, let me see when this first one was released actually just to start things off. Why is it not saying at the beginning? Maybe it will say at the end. Mm -hmm. 2014. There we go. So this is 2014 the ultimate Factivity collection with more than 500 stickers. Now I'm going to mostly be looking for the stickers themselves with an interest in using them in my city in custom creations and such. But I figure while I'm here, might as well go through and uh, see if there's anything else interesting. So they give you some room to set up some scenes using the stickers that will be offered here. I still haven't used these, these recycling bins. Still have them built from the original set. I'll find something to do with those. See, so yeah, it give you some nice little scenes to to set up, do a little bit of two-dimensional building. Wow, I wonder if they're gonna have all those parts in there, like large minifigure stickers. All right, let's get to the stickers. Lots of scenes, small activities, that's good. It's, it's a lot of stuff to do. Definitely a good thing to put in the hand of a, of a kid in the back of a car on a trip or something. Could potentially be, be better in some cases than a, uh, you know, a small gaming console or a mobile device, potentially, in some cases. I'm not seeing any stickers though. Here we go, here we go. Okay, first of the stickers. Okay. Yeah, so uh, a lot of minifigures, but some of this stuff could make for some nice, uh, some nice posters, you know, large posters, billboard material and stuff. And having these things separated out definitely allows you to put stuff together yourself. So that's actually something I had not considered. It's putting together multiple stickers to create my own kind of combination. And this is what I was really looking forward to here. But I'm trying to look over on this side first. All right, this is what I was most looking forward to because there are just so many different things. Now, the one thing that, that holds back kind of the utility of something like this is that every single sticker has a white backing and a white edge around it. Now, I've decided to allow myself to trim off edges if things are a little bit too large. Uh, yeah, I brought with me a two by two tile. Now, some of these things will fit when trimmed onto a two by two tile. Some of them may not fit entirely. Maybe that's just a little bit too wide. If it goes edge to edge, it's not gonna fit. I don't wanna cut into the actual sticker itself, the actual printed part, but these individual stickers are not specifically designed to fit onto Lego parts that we're familiar with. Obviously anything larger, like you know panel pieces and such, will be just fine, but uh, beyond that, uh, you know, for, like going onto a two by two, it's not gonna work so well, unless you trim off the edges. So I'm just gonna trim off the edges. Okay, here we go. So big pieces, big pieces of things to put together some of those those combinations that we saw earlier in the book. Okay, more little ones. These are like advertisement things straight from the, the box art. Actually, most of this is from the box art. But I mean, stuff like that, you know, a lot of these things are just really used to, wow, that's an interesting one. I like that, huh. And these are gonna be more extras. Nope more different activities, the train ones, that'll be useful. What I don't like here is that every single one of these has the copyright mark on it somewhere. I feel like that needs to be trimmed off when using them. I mean, you use them in the book, of course, it doesn't matter, but you know, if I wanna put them on something that looks nice. More extras, that might be cool to put in the background of something, on a wall maybe. I'd be willing to try that out. Stuff like that's pretty cool. Yeah, hmm, man, I wish they had actually included 
a whole series of track stickers at the same scale so you kind of put together a design you know like a track design that would have been nice oh yes the arctic exploration theme feels like it was a long time ago a long time ago relative to the age of this channel as we know it today that's for sure wow I had all those set up in my old non-custom city, Millenby. Missed that a little bit, but it's okay. Much prefer my, my bigger setup that I have now, and that's just that. Okay, well, that's one. There is another city-related one here, but I'll get to that later. This minifigures one is one, it only goes up to series seven. I didn't even notice that. But it's one that I'd, I had kind of lowest hopes for in terms of utility for myself. But I thought there might be something interesting, interesting in here. But this was 2012. A little bit on the old side, just a little bit. But this may actually have some interesting information about the players, about the characters. So I'll probably go through this a little bit more slowly just to see if there's any interesting little backstory that they had for any of these that I wasn't aware of. I'm sure there will be some. Although probably most of that actually came from the, the official descriptions from LEGO, but I haven't read those anyway, so it could still help. This is interesting, having different pieces of, of figures that you can put together. That's cool for, for exactly this. You know, to have a sticker book and then to be able to kind of build your own minifigure on the pages or on whatever you want. You know, use it to decorate school items, your binder or whatever. It's a good idea. Plus, just being able to have like a head that you can just stick on something to represent. You know, just a, a person. You know, use it on, a, on an ad. That's a little bit awkward there. But I guess you would just put the other st stickers in front of it. Yeah, this definitely is not going to have great utility for me personally. I wish they had more of the accessories separated out as their own. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, I mean, this is a great selection. A lot of, a lot of options, a lot of parts. The question marks could be interesting. The robot one, that one's going to be easy to, to trim out and could be useful for some tech store or something. Yeah, they do have some of the accessories here, so that's good. Stuff like the boom box and the trophy, fish, board, banana. Hmm, might use that in my music shop actually. All right, this is, this is a little bit better. And then we get back to the bigger stuff. And these are extras, so these are going to be duplicates. Which means they will probably have duplicates of the small ones as well. I believe. I believe. Yes, no, yes, no, no. Yes. Plenty of them. Good. So if anything gets mess messed up, there are spares. All right. Not bad. But that's that one. Uh, let me do the the other city one that I got. This is actually an older one. You can immediately see from the models represented on the cover. 2011. Goes back a, a little ways. But even though it is a little bit older, still a lot of this is very relevant. And I have a, I have a strong feeling that some of these going to be useful stickers for me and it's good to to pick from different eras because every single era has something that was memorable about it I mean look at this you know I, st I still have fond memories of that a lot of people still have that that train this wasn't that long ago 2000 really 2011 wow I, I guess hmm I feel like I bought that new though maybe Okay, good stuff. This was one of the older ones, one of the uh, one of the oldest ones that, or one of the first ones that I reviewed, one of the early ones that I reviewed as a, a brick-based set. But yeah, definitely some of these things 
I have reviewed. Some of these things are going to be useful for me as just stickers. Wow, that's a big old warning caution sticker. This is something I didn't even realize existed. Fireboat Tender, what is that vehicle? You have to look that one up. I, I, I just, ha I've never seen that. Huh. Some good stuff here. More train, only signs and things are special. Oh, oh yes, Star of Life. Ooh, I've been, oh, I can't believe they make actually one of these. I didn't know that even existed. That, oh, that's great. I've. I've got to figure out a way to use that on my, my hospital, possibly inside of it. Oh, that is that is great. I, I wonder if that'll fit onto a, I think that'll fit onto a panel piece. A, uh, a one by four by, what is it, three panel piece? Probably, if not, I can definitely fit it on a one by six by five, are they? You know, one of the, one of the larger ones? I mean, no matter what, that's that's gotta be useful. Ah, good, good, good. I'll have to look through these a little bit more carefully as well on my own time, but already, I mean, that one is very valuable to me. Something like a tire is useful for a service station. This mini tractor is cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's a nice little build. I might have to try to track that down. See, I came here for stickers, but I ended up learning about sets. <laughs> of course, it's easy to just browse for things like this, but I just haven't done that yet. This is unfortunate. This is actually an, a, uh, a picture that was downloaded off the web, off of lego.com, and they just never substituted back in a higher resolution version of it. So you can see all the, the artifacts in it, compression artifacts. Extra stick. Oh, that's a nice one too. I he, he, I'm going to use that on one of my train stops. I'm going to mark my word. Going, or would it be two? Which which would be the word? I didn't say mark my words. I said mark my word. Okay, lots of useful stuff here. All those Lego ones. All these access accessories. These train ones are pretty cool. If I cut those out, I can make it look like a longer one. Uh, small minifigs, very useful. Smaller version of the Star of Life there. These signs, probably some of these signs will fit, if you cut them out, will fit onto normal sign pieces. Uh-huh, useful, useful. These fingerprints are interesting. That could be useful for a, a, a post office, you know, an actual post office location. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is actually going to be, be good for me. And then just duplicates. So if you miss anything up, you get extras. And if you want multiples, like if I want to use two of those, I have two of them in here. Yes. What is that? What is that? By oh man, those wings look durable. Durable. Oh no. I'm glad I never saw that before. I'm gonna have to look it up now just out of morbid curiosity. Okay. Uh, the set that this came in is one that I will still eventually have to get. I've been interested in it for years. Yep, this is good. This one's not quite a gold mine, but pretty close. Has some stuff that I will eventually make use of that will stay in my city for years. Some of them may be prominent. So this is Lego, you know, original Lego movie, copyright 2014 here. I expect this one to be mostly Lego movie specific stuff. So I don't expect to get too much useful stuff out of this for me personally. But I was very curious about it. And I thought there might be some things. You know, at some point, I, I may actually consider using some things like this, cutting out pieces of this to use as, as a backdrop. If I can make like a, a backdrop scene, something small, as like a and kind of what they're expecting you to use it for, you know, something to apply other things to, either building up in front of it 
or possibly putting stickers on the front to make my own billboards and stuff. Okay, here come the stickers. Uh, I mean, they did have the builds as well, so I guess some of that could be useful. Some small things. Use that for a, a plumber's shop. <laughs> Benny, I mean, probably find a place to use Benny as a sticker in the city somewhere. Yeah, some of these small things are kind of cool. That's definitely useful with a little bit of imagination. Big old carrot, yeah, that can be used for my grocery store. This is kind of as I expected. Most of it is really specific to the movie, but you know, there were some generic things in there. I mean, the drill press could definitely be used for a sign for a machine shop or something. That could be used as a, I cut out part of that to use it as a, uh, a large painting or something. This is interesting. Hmm, that looks kind of cool. Hopefully they'll have a smaller version of that in here as well. I wish they had made those as actual prints. Um, <laughs> that's, that's cool. I wish I had more, more stuff like this as well as stickers in here. Just in that illustration style. Um, all right, let's see what we got for the little ones. Yeah, about the, about the normal distribution of things, but I do see some things in here that I like, like that. That's definitely useful for some sort of ad for, uh, you know, some social media or something. The Blacktron logo there. Yeah, a lot of this, I mean, use that for a furniture store. A lot of this is gonna be potentially useful. That piece, we've got multiple of those, the stud. Just have to kind of open up the imagination. I mean, that has value for sure. It's doing funny things on the camera here. Yeah, I'll be able to use some of this stuff for sure. Just need to look at these pages with some regularity to kind of keep stuff top of mind so that I know what my tools are when I'm going through creative processes know what my palette is and then I can draw from that and find opportunities to use these things. So these are just duplicates but still going through it there's potential to see stuff that I didn't see the first time through. Like I said I will need to go through and, and check some of these out on my own time a little bit slower see if there's anything that I missed but plenty of extras Always a good thing. Sweet. So there you go. Just four of those. Uh, each of them had useful stuff. I think that these two here are, mm, I don't know. I expected these two to be my most valued of these, but I think this one actually will be the single most valued. This had more stuff in it actually than I expected that could be useful. Gave me some good inspiration, but we'll just have to see how that that works out, but I'll def definitely pretty quickly be looking for opportunities to use ones from this older city one, which is interesting that the older city one actually had more useful stuff, more just uh, more powerful impacts on, on me than, than the slightly newer version did. But I'll still be looking for uh, other, other big sticker packs, sticker books like these uh, in, the, in the coming weeks and months. But thanks for watching. Hope that you know this had some sort of entertainment value for you. Uh, for me, it was my first time looking through these and got some some good info out of it and started some inspiration and got me got me thinking about just possibilities. So I'll be coming back to these on a fairly regular basis on my own time, and hopefully you'll see some of these stickers showing up in actual custom stuff in my city. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.